You know, and typically when people say that, they say, now, if you praise those words and you meant that, you're really saved. Don't doubt. I think that's going beyond where Scripture would let us go. Because I don't think people are saved by saying certain words. Uh, if I can clarify it, people are saved because God saves them. And the proper prayer is to ask God to save you. Um, you know, the publican in, in the Gospel of Luke prayed the sinner's prayer. Lord, be merciful to me, a sinner. Lord, be merciful to me, a sinner. I, I would say, if you want to pray a prayer, cry out to God and plead for him to mercifully save you. You don't have any claim on that salvation. You don't have any works that would um, cause you to deserve it. You haven't done any deeds to earn it. It is purely a gift of divine grace. And all you can do is ask. I would say to the sinner, cry out to God to save you. Confess your sin. Acknowledge you have no hope apart from what he provides through Christ and plead with God to be merciful to you and save you. I was in the hospital with a dying uh, guy who had lived a homosexual lifestyle, been a part of all the homosexual activity out here. He was dying of AIDS, and he was terrified uh, to be headed toward hell. And he said, what do I do? And I, I took a hold of his hand, and, and he squeezed my hand, and I said, you, you have only one hope. You need to cry out to God and ask him in mercy and grace and compassion to save you. He alone can save. There's no formula. I can't guarantee it. I can't give you words to say that if you say, you'll be saved, even if you say them sincerely. All I can tell you to do is plead with God to be merciful to you, a sinner. It was one of the most... Uh, moving prayers that I ever heard as he acknowledged the horrors of his life, raised in a Christian home, rejected his parents and everything they'd taught, went out and lived this way for years, and he pled with God, as unworthy as he was, to save him. And in the moments after that, I, I continued that prayer, and I, I begged God to save him. And... Um, and the light broke from all that I could tell, and uh, a joy filled his heart, and God was merciful to him, followed up until uh, he died, and the Lord gave him complete peace and joy and answered that prayer. And I think we can also say, Jesus said, him that comes to me, I will not cast out. Um, that, that's the promise. But I, I think having people recite words that you put in their mouths can give false assurance. There, there may be people who are saying those words who are genuine and, and, and God may be doing a work in their heart. But I think, I think the best we can do and, and the right thing to do is, is to have those people who genuinely desire to be saved, to go before God in their own hearts, in their own words, and plead with him to be merciful to them.